Hey guys, Ivan here and in this video we're gonna check out what Phil Heath is looking like in 2022 And this is him, yes, this is the most recent video that he posted on his Instagram And he looks like he is not freaking retiring, no, he doesn't look like it, look at him What the hell are his plans, I have no idea, is he planning on competing on Mr. Olympia again, I really doubt that But why is he looking like this right now? So this is... This is almost, this is about 11 months out of Mr. Olympia. Mr. Olympia is in December. So why would he look like this, like big like this and round and lean and everything 11 months out of Mr. Olympia? I don't know, is he doing Arnold or something? Well, take a look at what he wrote in this description here. So he says that yes, this was taken tonight at the gym. The full video is gonna be up on his YouTube channel, by the way. And right now, he says that he's eating up to six meals a day. Guys, six meals, that's like maximum that pro bodybuilders are doing. Nobody's doing more than that. Maybe some of them are having a couple of shakes somewhere in between, but usually it's like six meals on an average bodybuilding diet for somebody who is, who is serious about bodybuilding. If he was just about staying in shape while he's retired, he just wants to look decent, and I would assume that he would like to be downsized, because this is not very healthy for him, so he would probably eat less, now he's eating 6 meals a day, so I'm guessing he's sort of force-feeding himself a little bit, I'm, I'm sure. And this also requires a lot of discipline, so he's very regimented, he's not doing whatever he wants throughout the day, he needs to be very focused on this, so he's eating 6 meals a day, why is he eating 6 meals a day, unless he has a show in his plans? He says he's feeling amazing after just one month of his HRT and peptide protocol. So he's doing that, he's taking testosterone, low dose, and some peptides. He didn't clarify which peptides, but whatever he's doing, it's apparently working well. Or is he just outright lying? Is he just on a full-blown cycle while saying that he's on TRT and peptides? We're gonna find out if that's the case if he starts promoting those peptides and an HRT clinic or whatever. But if he doesn't, then that's probably what he is on. He never really spoke about what he uses, and this is the first time I'm seeing that he said what exactly he's using. So, if unless he's selling it, he has no reason to lie. But does he look like he's on TRT and some peptides? I don't know how potent those peptides can be, but he looks like he's full-blown. He looks, he looks like he usually does in the off-season. I mean, take a look at him, take a look at those arms, the separation in the biceps, the fullness that he has everywhere, like the forearms, the arms, the shoulders, and the chest, look at the upper chest shelf, like, right now he looks just as good as he looked in those off seasons when he was competing, because uh, a couple of years before he retired, he stopped really going crazy in the off season, because he didn't need to grow anymore, he needed to keep his waist small, and also to, to, to just maintain muscle and then get shredded, and that was it. He was probably pushing drugs only in the end, only before the show. So he didn't really look that full blown, like big, bulk in the off season. He looked like this. I mean, this is him. This is it as far as muscularity, feel heat in the off season. This is it. So it's kind of hard for me to believe that he's only on HRT and whatever peptides. My first impression when I saw this was he's back on, on a heavy cycle. But again, it might be true what he's saying, whatever is the case, he does look great. And he definitely, definitely looks like somebody whose career is not over. He doesn't look like what Dexter Jackson looks like right now. He doesn't look like what Jay Cutler looked a year after he retired. He does look like Dennis Wolf or whoever. He looks like he's still on, guys, let's be honest. I mean, he never really announced retirement, he never really said that he's done with competing. Is he prepping for a movie role or for like Atleticon? I don't know, I don't know, he does look like he's getting ready for something. And you guys probably are thinking he might be doing the Arnold, because he does look like he's getting ready for it. He does look lean enough and just overall good enough to, to be competitive and to actually win, potentially against Brandon Curry. But I just don't see him doing that, I don't think I can imagine him competing against Brandon once again, but uh, look, I mean, he looks amazing at this point, he looks big and full and round, so my best guess would be that he's still planning on competing, and what show would he do if not Mr. Olympia? Look guys, he might be doing all this 
just to look good, you know, there is a possibility, maybe he's training like a maniac and he's doing every, everything that he needs to do, uh, you know, taking whatever he's taking and training and eating six freaking meals a day just to look good in the gym and for his selfies and for his Instagram videos or just for himself because he likes to look good, is that realistic, I mean, I would understand to be in a decent shape, but to be big like this, he's probably around 2, 260 at least, 260 for his height, for his frame, he's probably around there, and that's a lot of weight for him, so he has a lot of muscle, that's putting a strain on his body, on his heart, maybe he's not sure what he wants to do, but he wants to maintain a decent physique, I don't know, it's just speculation, but in this video right here, one thing is undeniable, he looks amazing. Aside from the gut, we haven't really seen his stomach, so it, it's probably still a mess. So if he wanted to compete, he probably wouldn't win the Mr. Olympia again with that problem. But overall, if you exclude that, if you think about everything else, muscularity, conditioning, everything, he looks great. No doubt about that. So guys, tell me what do you think about his physique right now, and more importantly, what do you think are his future plans? Will we see the gift Phil hit on the stage ever again on a bodybuilding stage or on Mr. Olympia stage, which I think is the only stage that he should do at this point after winning seven Mr. Olympia titles. So guys, whatever your thoughts are, tell me in the comment section down below, like this video and subscribe for more bodybuilding stuff like this. Thank you so much guys for watching, all the best and bye bye.